I mean, last week, those two really went at it in the crowd and backstage and ended up a suplex off the top of the ladder to the crowd last week. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is freaking nuts. I mean, do those two really hate each other? And they don't want to wait till guilty is charged. Look at these two. They nearly want to kill each other. It's Mister. Look at this. It's Mister and Brent Collins last week really went at it and tried to end Brent Collins' career by suplexing him right in the crowd. Oh my god, this is insane. And look at this, Mr. and F you! Right on that concrete floor. And Smister, he's gonna get a table. And Smister's got the table. The wooden table. And now Smister. What's he gonna do here? And a DDT on the concrete floor. I mean, I can't believe this. Nobody was expecting these two to collide. Do they really hate each other? Oh! Hits him with the table. I mean, I can't believe they really hate each other. And sets the table on fire. Can you believe that? <clears throat> He's gonna pick him up. He's gonna put him through the flaming table. Oh my god! Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my god. Can you believe what we just saw? Well, what we saw earlier was the Mr. and Brent Collins fighting in the crowd. And they F you Brent Collins threw a table on set on fire. And I think Brent Collins has got third degree burns in his back. Well, anyways, we got more action for you. The Andersons making her way towards the ring to take on the mass douchebags and the winner of this matchup will go on to guilty as charge and compete for the EBA World Tag Team Titles. What a matchup. Whoever's going to win this will have a matchup against two hardcore JC and Danzig. Boy, so far guilty as charge is off the charts. And also is off the charts is Aftershock's Reformation. Man, their main event, his double main event, I might add, has been the most personal one ever. Shadow MC against Hoovy. I mean, those two will not be able to back off from each other. They will not back off. And we can see the mass douchebags making their way towards the ring. I mean, those two, Shadow MC and Hoobie, they really hate each other's guts. I mean, this is getting way out of hand, and good thing that Destiny gave both of them the night off to have a cool down period. But next week on Aftershock, they will be competing in pick your poison matches. So they could pick anybody they want any in any brand. It doesn't have to be the Aftershock brand, so we'll see where it goes from there. And the winner of this matchup will fight two hardcore JC and Danzig for those EBA tag team titles that guilty is charged. And here we go for the number one contenders matchup. Oh, nice headlock takedown by Dennis Anderson. Punches of Fury by Dennis Anderson. 
And right now, all they want to do is rectify the situation and put the douchebags out of the equation. <laughs> oh man. Nice Boston Crab by Dennis Anderson. And nice reversal by Mass Douchebag number one. Our Swift to the corner and makes the tag. Was this a power bomb? Nice double team. What is this now? Douchebag number two gets a kendo stick. Oh! Hits him in the back with the kendo stick and another shot. And oh! He hits him right in the head with the kendo stick. Oh man. What else has been going on in Aftershock? I mean, freaking uh. Steve Farrell and M.T. Watt, they'll be colliding in the 15-foot high steel cage. We have a cage match and unsanctioned matchup at Reformation. What a CPV that's going to be. And so will be the third annual BYU Vendetta by the Overdrive brand only. What a car they have, too. The match is top the to bomb. It's going to be off the freaking charts as well. The CJ Hawkins Vincent Dynasty rematch. And it's going to be a street fight, or you want to call it. No holes bar, no disqualification, street fight, whatever. There's this. An R bar, and oh! An R bar by Dennis Anderson. He makes the tag. And Tyrant taking on Mr. Money in the Bank, Danny Legend. And oh, what a nice back body drop by Eric Anderson. You know what the lucky thing about Danny Legend is? He has a guaranteed title shot, and he can cash in that title shot whenever and whenever he wants it to do it. He's Mr. Money in the Bank. Wait a minute. And oh. Nice hit. Nice shot to the head by Mass Douchebag number two with the trash can. <clears throat> What's he gonna do here? Nice swip to the corner and tags in Mass Douchebag number one. Getting out of the ring. What's he gonna do here? No, uh oh. He's gonna get a bar wire two by four. And all oh, nice punches to the face by douchebag number one. Yeah, douchebag number one, I believe, is the one in the blue, and mass douchebag number two is in the yellow, I believe. I guess it really don't make a difference. I'm just going to call them mass douchebag blue and yellow mass douchebag. Doesn't really matter. Those <laughs> they look the same a little bit, but except for the shorts. Mix him up. And oh, nice reversal by Eric Anderson. Going for a schoolboy with a rope break. Huh. Never knew there was rope breaks in EVA. Normally they wouldn't be. Irish whip. Oh, nice boot to the face. Mm, wait. Irish whip to the corner. And wait a minute. And oh! And nice back body drop by Dennis Anderson. And now, so far, rectifying the situation and trying to put Mass Douchebag number one and two out of the equation. And I apologize to you fans that I'm not being loud as I usually be, but through the personal reasons, I'm keeping it down a little bit. Oh! Hits him in the ribs with the ladder. Oh my god. Really trying to take them out of the equation. That's what they do best. Is rectify the situation. And they are doing that. Well they were for now. Lutez pressed by douchebag number one. 